Would I get a Camelot macaw? Now there's a question and I'll be seeing maybe some later today, supposedly. We'll see how it goes. Hey guys, this is River. She's a green cheek conure, a pineapple green cheek conure. She's not a macaw, but there she is. Now, would I get a Camelot macaw? If you are already a YouTube member, thank you for being a member. I love my members. If you are used to hanging out, then you probably know I have over 22 species of parrots. I have a green wing macaw, and you probably know that my mission is to help you increase your bond, hopefully reducing your need to rehome your parrot or to surrender it to a rescue. River is having a blast. This is a Royal Point Sienna. Look at that beautiful tree. And let's see if we can catch, you see those flowers? They're just there. I don't know how well you could see them, but they're beautiful. Um, it's not toxic for parrots, so here we go. Now, the thing is, a Camelot macaw is a second generation hybrid. That means that in order to have a Camelot, you have to have, I believe it was a Scarlet with a Catalina macaw. A Catalina macaw is already a blue and gold and a Scarlet. So by the time you get down to the Camelot, that's not very common. I think I've only seen a Camelot for sale a couple of times. And I have a friend who wants a macaw. So we are going to go look at some Camelots that supposedly came in. I can't wait to see them. And the question is, would I get a Camelot? I've had a Catalina before. I've had a Harlequin before. Uh, would I get a Camelot or would I want to get something else? Um, a friend of mine has or owns Bird Gardens of Naples. She runs it. And she put a picture of a great military macaw. And I don't know how you pronounce the Buffon's macaw. Uh, they're really rare, really gorgeous, and like she's kind of got me thinking about that. And she also posted, which one was it? A blue throat macaw and one other one. And you know, I don't know, if I was choosing, I would have to definitely kind of like look around and decide. But I'd be tempted by a green wing. My green wing macaw is fantastic. She's pretty mellow. When we take her out to eat, she's pretty easy going. She doesn't act like, I mean, she acts like you and I would act. She's out in public, there's people. Who cares? So what? Whereas a lot of other, my other parrots would be like, what, where are we? What's going on, right, River? River's pretty used to going out in public. She does pretty good, but you know, um, not all birds do so i kind of really like for me the temperament of the green wing at least rosie's temperament she's just really easy going she will beak me but she's never really like bitten and cut my skin last night my friend met her at the restaurant because it's his restaurant and um he pet her and she kind of went to beak him and it, that's not unfair. You know, she's kind of going, look, I'm not a plush toy. But she let him pet her. She was pretty easy going about it. My green wing is not that loud at home. Sure, she can squawk. But generally speaking, she's really not. She's really happy when she's around us on her perch, on her cage, on another perch. You know, I mean, we've got a perch for her in our bedroom. I've got one in one of the rooms I work in. I've got one outside for her. Um, her cage is in another room. So we have different places for her and she's fine. She's happy. So it's kind of hard to consider a different bird when I have had such a wonderful, easygoing macaw. Would I get a, ca a Camelot? I would consider it. I would know that the personality of the Camelot might be more hyper. When you have a hybrid, sometimes you get like the nice mellow parts that are attributed to that species' um, personality. And sometimes, so, and sometimes you get kind of like the, the 
there are more positive attributes. Sometimes you get there are more negative attributes. So you kind of never know exactly what side that coin's going to land on. But, um, you know, it's not like you could get a Jekyll or Hyde. It's nothing like that. Now, with my Catalina and my Harlequin, they were definitely more hyper than my Greenwing, but they were also younger. So it's really hard to say, you know, that hybrids are just more hyper, although I do think that that may be true. I think I've read that before. So I would definitely consider a Camelot. They're really beautiful. I do like their colors, but I would like, you know, they would, they wouldn't be a hands down yes. I would still, if I didn't have a macaw and I was looking at getting a macaw, I would still really give some heavy consideration to Green Wing because I just love my Rosie. I hope that gives you some different perspectives, helps you consider weigh your options if you're looking at a macaw. Then make sure you give me one of these as I wrap up. And I will catch you in the next feathered video. If you want to find out about my merch, about my membership, all that good stuff, just look at the link in the links in the description down below. And River and I will catch you in the next green I video. I hear you're friendly. Hello. Oh, you're so big and beautiful. Hi.